Hey Olivia, where are we going? We don't know what to expect, so let's do this. Yes. So the first place we're coming up to is Disney Village. This is the Disney Springs Downtown Disney concept for here. Yay, so exciting. And this is where the train station comes out. So I mean, not bad. Welcome to Disneyland Paris. All right, they opened up about 10 minutes before a rope drop. Here we go. So cool thing about Disneyland Paris is this is a hotel that you can actually stay at. Like you could walk down out of your hotel and go right into a park, which is amazing. All right, it is ticket time and Jeff's gonna cross right in front of the camera because he's cool, isn't it? All right, here we go. Yeah, I mean, just look at this hotel. So I'm feeling a little emotional because this is the first Disney experience we've had since August 2019. So it's a little like, it's corny, but I'm a little misty this morning. So when you walk under the hotel, this is where they scan your tickets. So here's all the queues. They're right under that hotel. And of course, we are wearing our Live, Laugh, Go Disney scrunchie. I'm personally wearing her Star Wars one because we had to be in all Disney fashion today. We're in. It's Mickey Lou. little teary guys. You ready Liv? Yep, I am totally ready. Here we go. So first off we're heading to Discovery Land. Yeah, very different, huh? Very Wow, so cool. Star Tours. Woo! been open for an hour and a half and it is dead. Park is so cool. Ooh. That's a restaurant. That's pretty cool. So just like with anything else, COVID, there's going to be changes to the theme park experience. Here at Disneyland Paris, you have to have your masks on except for when you're sat down, eating, drinking, anything of that nature. 
Um, otherwise, they do have to be on. Some of the restaurants are not fully open. The park's at about 50% capacity. We've been able to get on a lot of rides. Um, we've gotten, I think, about six rides done since the park opened a couple hours ago. And that's with no fast pass. I, I actually think we're doing really well. But what we've noticed with the restaurants and the eateries that aren't open, it seems like a lot of the ones that are open are all very sugary options like crepes or waffles. Um, so here in Fantasyland, it's been a little difficult to find something that's just not sugar. So Jeff and I finally found more normal food and if you guys are looking, it's going to be here in Frontierland at the Silver Spur Steakhouse and technically there's the same thing but a different name on the other side of it. <laughs> okay, we take that back. On the Last Chance Cafe, this is the menu here. Okay, it wasn't a lie. It's the Lucky Nugget that has the same menu. Last chance is the one that's different. So it's 3.30 and we've pretty much gotten everything done that we wanted to get done here. Here's a list of all the rides that we did in this time. Now keep in mind there are no Fast Pass. Fast Pass is still currently suspended. How cute is that? And snap, and snap again, and twirl. So if you're at the parks and it starts to rain, they sell the ponchos behind the counter. Three of them cost $31. I know you can get them from the dollar store. We actually left them at the hotel because we were not organized this morning. Olivia pointed out these beautiful window casings. How cute is this fountain? This is so cool. Mm. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> it's about to be a little terrifying. Get it? It's how it's here. So that is way different than the one in Florida. 100% different. Jeff? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I think you dropped more in this one and it was at random. <laughs> Here we go, we're going to Ratatouille now. Buzz! So excited to try this because it's going into Florida this year. It's supposed to open. Gustav. stuff okay so I'm definitely showered and I'm actually back home because after doing a full day at Disney no matter which Disney it is it is exhausting we all went to bed pretty early we walked over 20,000 steps it was a Disney day but we were very very tired but I do have some takeaways that I think that are really important if you're going to be considering a trip to Disneyland Paris. The first thing that I'm going to suggest is don't have any expectations going into this. Overall, I kind of joked with Jeff that it kind of felt like the Six Flags of Disney. Um, you know, there were some magical aspects to it, 
but after a while I just felt like there were a lot of things missing from the typical Disney experience that I'm used to. Now I know that this park is catered to a more European crowd which has different expectations. But for me, Disney is a complete experience from the Little Mickey's Premium Bar to everywhere around the park. And I just didn't get that vibe. I mean, they're smaller parks. You can easily do both in almost one day. I will say that. So that's a plus. So if you're one of those people that want to go to every Disney in the world, you can do a day, maybe two at these parks and kind of call it a day. So one of the things that I enjoy about the Disney experience, be it in California or Florida, is I love the food and beverage component. It's not because I'm thick either, but you know, I love watching videos from like Disney food blog and seeing the new creative cocktails and stuff. And there was just none of that here. The food was very, very basic. It was, you know, hamburgers and hot dogs, um, crepes <laughs> like there were no mickey shaped anything anywhere there was no mickey shaped pretzels there was no mickey's premium bar there were no mickey caramel apples there was just none of that um so that was a bit of a change so that's part of your disney experience um again don't have a lot of expectations going into this like there wasn't even you know dull whip <laughs> so that was different to get used to so the last thing that I want to talk about is I want to talk about if you are a plus size person. Disneyland Paris can be a bit tricky. I personally did not have any problems with the rides, but Jeff had a problem with the ride, uh, the hyperspace Space Mountain Star Wars themed ride. He couldn't get it down over his shoulders the width. Um, and I even noticed some of the seats on the rides are a little more snug. So keep that in mind. This is very Eurofo uh, Euro focused. They're thinner there. Um, so if you are definitely a bigger person, a size, you may want to research some of the rides that, you know, you can go on because there are a few that I even felt were a little snug myself. So keep that in mind. And I know I said that was the last thing, but we're going to talk about a few logistics things. So you can take the train. I showed you guys where the train station was. I actually recommend Disney Transfers. This is not a Disney company. I'm going to put their link down in the bio. It, I paid about $70 each way, so $140 round trip. And this beautiful Mercedes van picked us up, dropped us off right at the entrance. And it was just nice, especially after a day of walking in the parks to just kind of relax and chill out in a private vehicle, not being shoulder to shoulder with somebody on a train. So I would highly, highly recommend that. Now, since I went just over two weeks ago, Disneyland Paris has now introduced that they are going to charge for Fast Pass. So I'm going to put a link to one of those articles down below. Fast Pass was not running, but one of the cute moments we had that you guys saw earlier in the video is a little bit of that Disney magic was this uh, cast member that was working at the Tower of Terror saw Olivia and pulled us off to the side and said, princesses don't wait. And he opened up the Fast Pass line and sent us right up that way. So I thought that was super cute. They did just open the Marvel hotels. I will say that oh, that hotel that's right at the entrance of Disneyland Paris is very cool. I mean, if you're a Disney fan, and like I said, you want to go visit a bunch of Disney parks to check it off your list, give it a day or two. I don't think it needs more than that. But overall, it wasn't my favorite park. I'm still glad that I did it. Olivia had a great time, but it was just a very different experience. I hope this video helps and that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and make sure you are subscribed so you can catch my next travel videos. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.